may dagdag na paraan laban sa COVID-19. Together, we can be the solution plus. Be the plus sa maayos na daloy ng hangin. Be the plus sa maikling pisikal na interaksyon. Be the plus sa pagsuporta sa bakuna. Be the plus sa mga kwento ng kaligtasan sa Bida Barangay. Sa dagdag na pag-iingat, maraming buhay ang maliligtas. Be the solution plus laban sa COVID-19. Organic acai has very high levels of antioxidants and essential nutrients that help keep your immune system strong. Organic acai premium blend and freeze-dried capsules daily to help increase your resistance against harmful viruses. Keep yourself and your family healthy and protected with Organic. Mahalagang paalala, ang Organic Acai Premium Blend at Freeze-Dry Capsule ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin kung gamot sa anumang uri ng sakit. Of all the tough decisions you have to make today, your family's health doesn't have to be one of them. Not when you have the choice to go organic and live full, natural, and holistic lives. So start your day right. Load up on antioxidants. Choose all your organic superfoods. And keep the momentum going. We're making it easy for you. Live organic, choose organic. It's easier than you think. Mahalagang paalala, ang organic asayo premium blended freeze-dry capsule ay hindi gamot at hindi dapat gamitin panggamot sa anumang uri ng sakit. Previously on Wellness Wednesday. I feel burning sensation. I feel irritation in right. the, the... What do you say to um, those viewers or those people that are um, anti anti Wellness Wednesdays with Organic. Here because you matter and support the DOH Media Solution campaign. Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. Now, before we get in, I just want to invite you to like um, and share this video so that all of your friends can join in on this game. So um, the game for this week is to comment um, on this post. If you can check out our Facebook page at Organic Inc., uh, then you'll see the post and just comment the best caption for this photo. Now, the best captions or the funniest captions will win. Uh, what we have here is our Vita bars in both flavors, the almond butter and the cocoa mango flavors, as well as our 100 grams of the cashew trail mix with Kupuasu bits. Now these are all fantastic. Um, and I, I, sorry, I recommend that you try them all, especially now that it's Lent and I know that, you know, uh, we can't have meat. So these are great options for you. Now for this week. So did you know uh, that 
on uh, the average adult actually gets a cold two to five times a year. Now, now the cold is not really a sobrang like serious on a illness or anything like that, no. But then the cold is annoying, very very annoying. Parang ano like disconnected Wi-Fi, just choppy Wi-Fi. You but, and and all like the Wi-Fi is there, but it's not working right. And same when we have a cold, we just can't do our work properly. We just can't focus properly. We just can't get on with our day as well as we want to. So here to talk to us more about a cold, we have here Coach um, Harris Acero. So Coach Harris over here is a lifestyle medicine coach. Hi, Coach. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to finish your intro, but he's a lifestyle medicine <laughs> coach and a natural uh, medicine practitioner. So hi, Coach. Can you tell us more about yourself? Hi there. Uh, hi, Luisa. I'm Coach Harris Acero. I'm your authoritative medicine practitioner. I'm your authoritative medicine coach. So basically, we deal health problems in a natural way. So we look for yung mga root causes ng problem. So ginagawa natin, kukunin natin yung problema, saan ba nang galing yan, tapos yun ang ating gagamutin para matanggal yung mga signs and symptoms. So ginagawa natin dito, we modify yung ating lifestyle, yung ating diet. Kasi alam mo naman, Luisa, we have a lot of unhealthy lifestyle, we have a lot of unhealthy diet, we have a lot of unhealthy habits na ginagawa natin everyday. And yun ang kailangan natin baguhin para maging healthy tayo. Yes, exactly, Coach. Now, I don't know if some of you remember, but Coach was actually here um, a couple of months ago for Wellness Wednesdays, but nice. I'm happy to reintroduce to him again for some of our new viewers, as I know our following has been increasing. So, Coach, um, bakit ngayon? why is it so important to talk about colds now? Well, actually, kasi, Luisa, no, we have a lot of factors to consider. So, una nga, because of the changing weather natin, though mm -hmm. parang medyo papunta tayo dun sa summer, pero kasi, di ba, nang sinabi sa atin ng pag-asa before na mas lalabig da yung February. And ito na nga, may pumapasok tayo ng mga uh, typhoon, kaya yung depression natin, di ba, tropical yeah. depression natin. So, isang factor din yun, no, para makaka-catch up tayo ng mga colds. And also, one more thing is that, you know what, parang minsan kasi it's confusing, di ba? Na parang yung mga signs and symptoms ni colds kasi, mm -hmm. ay minsan, baka COVID na rin. So dapat malinawan tayo, which is which. Yes. Para natin hindi tayo natatakot, di ba? And also, alam niyo po itong colds na to, napakadali lang po i-prevent po nito. Kayang-kaya po natin i-prevent to. Pero mm -hmm. marami po sa atin, still, nagkakaroon sila ng colds, nagkakaroon sila ng flu, at nauwi sa mga complications because we took it for granted lang, Luisa. Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you for explaining, Coach. I'm sorry, but uh, I think I'm having a, a bad signal, no? Ano, ano yung sayo mo, Alicia? Okay. <laughs> oh, I just said, no, let's dive into the topic, Coach. So, okay. first of all, I think... Before going into the importance of a cold, what is a cold? Actually, yung cold natin, ito yung nakakuha natin sa mga paligid natin. So yun na lang, pinakalayman's term na lang. Ito yung nakakuha natin sa paligid natin. Ito yung mga nakakuha natin sa mga tao mm -hmm. na meron din sila mga inubo sinisipon. So para pa, napaka-basic, ito yung ating ubo at saka sipon na nararanasan natin, especially kapag na-expose tayo sa maraming tao, o kaya pabago-bago yung ating weather, o kaya naman kapag bumagsak yung ating immune system. So, may pinagkaiba yung cold natin at saka yung flu natin. But with the cold, ang pinaka-causative agent kasi neto is yung ating mga common cold viruses. Okay? Yung ating rhino virus. Right. Yeah, yung rhino virus natin. At nakuha natin sa paligid. No, marami po sa atin dito yung nagkakaroon ng common cold viruses because of the exposure po natin. At almost lahat na ating mga upper streptococcal problem o yung ating pong upper respiratory problem is being caused by this rhinovirus. Oh, I see, I see, Coach. So, um, <clears throat> how do I know I have a cold, no? You said um, typically that's coughs and sipon, uh, sipon yes. but like, so what are the other signs and symptoms of it? Alright, so dito sa ating chart, no, sa ating uh, presentation, we have here our PowerPoint. So makita po niya the difference between the cold and the flu. So makita natin right. yung ating pong cold sa symptoms neto, gradual yung sa cold natin. Hindi ka basta-basta kaagad na magkakaroon ng sipon o magkakaroon ng rhinocytes mm -hmm. o yung natin. So gradual lang siya. Whereas sa flu, para mabibigla ka na lang, bigla ka lang nilagnat, bigla ka nang hina. 
Di ba parang sudden yung mararamdaman natin. And pagdating sa fever, sa so ating mga listeners, mga viewers natin, you have to remember, pagdating sa fever po, yung mga inubo sinisipon, pagka colds po, madalang lang po yan magkaroon siya ng uh, fever. Pero sa flu, of course, very usual yung ating fever. Sa aches naman, yung mga body pains naman po natin, sa, sa, sa colds po natin, very light lang. Hindi masyado nararamdaman. Pero sa ating flu, Actually, first to, uh, first to third day pa lang, mararamdaman mo na siya kaagad. Yung ating mga body aches, mga body soreness natin, yung mga muscle soreness natin. Chills, yung mga nangangatog, yung mga nilalamig. Sa colds, hindi po yan common. Pero pagdating naman po sa flu, mas nararamdaman din po yung ating po yung chills natin. Also, the fatigue, yung sneezing. Ito na lang gusto ko i-point out, uh, Ms. Luisa, no? yung sneezing natin. Mas common po yung, sabi nga natin kanina, yung mga upper respiratory problem po natin, like yung dito sa ating ilong, sa lalamunan po natin, tsaka sa ating pumpibig, most of that is nasa cold. So, nagkakaroon ka ng sneezing, nagkakaroon ka ng runny nose, may isa nagkakaroon ka ng sinusitis, nagkakaroon ka ng sore throat, nagkakaroon ka ng kung ano na bang problema dito sa ating leeg hanggang sa ating ilaw. So that's common for the colds. Pero pagdating sa flu, sometimes meron, pero most of the time, wala. So yun mo para ma-distinguish yung ating cold at saka yung ating flu. Right. Thanks for the for the tip stock. But for um, how about right now? In this present day and age, I think the main concern of people is still uh, COVID, no? So yes. yung mga signs and symptoms dito sa chart, um, where does COVID fall on on that is it in between a cold or a flu or is it more flu or or ano ba do, uh, coach actually pagdating sa covid mixed eh para nasa gitna siya because yung fever mm. nararamdaman mo yung fever sa covid-19 eh, di ba eh yung fever natin nandoon sa flu pero yun lang yung nakikita natin doon kasi sa ating cold naman nandoon yung pangangati ng lalamunan nandoon yung pag-ubo-ubo natin tapos sa atin namang flu pala is nandoon yung um nagkakaroon ka ng infection sa lalamunan din natin so parang nasa gitna lang siya, nasa gitna lang. Pero siguro, para mas ma-distinguish natin si ating COVID-19, yung pinaka-importante na mararamdaman nila is yung mawawala sila ng sense of taste. Numawala sila ng panlasa. Mm-hmm. So if ever you'll be experiencing both yung signs and symptoms ng cold and flu, huwag ka muna matakot. Pero kapag uh, nagkaroon na ng point na nawala na yung panlasa mo, nako, yun na yun, baka COVID na nga yung nakuha mo. Mm, okay, okay. So I think uh, viewers, uh, mga viewers natin, it's very important to actually just take a look at this chart and then see yes. where you actually fall along on that. Because I know, for example, me, I don't get a flu um, often, but I do get colds often and often. I, I know, I know, naman the difference of that, and yes, it's yes. usually just like um, in the morning I get like sip one or something like that. So um, those are the, so those are the type of things we'd be looking out for. So, um, Coach, before we move on to the next topic, I just wanted to greet our viewers over here. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to be opening our comments. Okay. So I can see um, I can see a lot of um, people tagging their friends. So that's kind of cute, actually. So uh-huh. uh, we have here June uh, Ranara, who is uh, tagging their friends. Um, and then we have here Tid Onazol, uh, and we have Je- Javel Vilia, sorry, Vilia again, Asma. We have, um, we have Joanne Nardo. So thanks for everyone to watching and tagging your friends and sharing this. I, I know that everyone in the world has experienced a common cold, but is it really yes. that common or are there complications and stuff that we should be on the lookout for? So I think this is a very good um, episode to share with your friends, no? It's one that's applicable to most people. So, yes. um, uh, Coach, what about the causes? So what causes a typical cold? Because, you know, sometimes they just seem to come out of nowhere for some of us. Yes, actually, nagkakos sa atin, it's a common cold virus sa tinatawag natin. That's the rhinoviruses mm-hmm. natin. At saka yung rhinoviruses natin, ako, alam niyo ba, nakita natin yan everywhere, no, lalo na sa mga matatao. Okay. Sa pagsasalita, pag nag-sneeze ka, kapag nagsalita ka, kapag nakapag-share ka ng something na may laway. So yun, talagang pwede mo makakuha yung ating rhinovirus na. Yung ating rhinovirus. So ito naman, iba naman yung nagiging causative agent naman ng ating flu. So, usually sa flu natin, we have the influenza naman. And iba naman din po yung manifestation ng influenza. Iba naman din po yung mga signs and symptoms ng influenza pag napabayaan natin. Pero again, Ms. Luisa, no, both problem, yung ating colds at saka yung ating flu, dapat we should not take it for granted. Kasi it might lead on to further complications kapag uh, napabayaan po natin. Especially yung flu. 
no, delikado po yung flu pag napabayaan po natin yan. So kapag nakakaramdam ka na na inubos, sinisipon, tapos kakaroon ka na ng lagnat, siguro mas kailangan po magpa-check na po kayo kaagad para makitaan po kayo ng doktor, no? At ma-check po yun yung pong blood test para makita ano ba yung mga infection na nangyayari and mabigyan po kayo na kung ang tamang gamot para sa inyo. Right. So, uh, Coach, when you said that you want to go uh, get checked up, now I know lots of people, they experience colds so they don't really want to go to the <laughs> yes. hospital to get checked up. So at what, point, well, at what point do I decide, okay, this is not normal, I have to go get checked up? Well, siguro kapag hindi nawawala yung ibusipon mo three to five days or one week. Kapag hindi nawala yung ibusipon mo, oh, so ganun okay. katagal, dapat magpa-check up ka na talaga. And if ever yung fever mo is on and off, for one week already, tapos nagkakaroon ka ng mga body aches, yung mga soreness mo, yung muscle, muscle soreness and aches mo, kailangan mo na magpa-check din. Okay, okay, thank you. So, okay, now, I know that uh, we were discussing the causes are usually a virus and it's everywhere, but then, if it's everywhere, Coach, how come I don't get it? Are there certain people who are more at risk than others or or what? what is that? Well, uh, marami tayong mga risk factors that we need to consider. So as you can see sa ating pong slides, sa ating PowerPoint. So we have four actually. So ang four is ilang pa lang yan so, sa mga risk factors natin. Mm -hmm. So una, so you have the, uh, yung sinabi mo kanina, Ms. Luisa, why I don't get um, colds? Bakit yung iba nakakuha nila? Well, hindi na mention dito, but of course, exposure. Probably mas less your exposure mo as compared to others. Probably yung iba, mas kung mas exposed sila sa maraming tao, sa crowd places, and most of them or some of them are being infected with the cold. So baka pwede niya, pwede niya na-acquire. So in your case, probably mas less your exposure mo. But one of the factors din yung ating exposure. But also, age. So alam niyo po ba yung mga elderlies po natin, mga, yung mga viewers po natin sa organic po, no? yung mga elderlies po natin, most of them, especially if hindi maganda yung lifestyle, hindi maganda yung diet nila, they tend to have a lower immune system. So, mm -hmm. mas prone po sila sa pagkakaroon ng infection na ma-acquire nila yung ating rhinovirus, yung mga common cold viruses natin. Second, is yung ating weakened immune system. So, we have a lot of health problems. Marami tayong mga sakit-sakit kung saan nako-compromise yung ating immune system. So, kapag nako-compromise yung immune system mo, syempre, mas prone po tayo sa infection. And also, time of the year. So, kapag ka nandun tayo sa tiglamig, Tag-ulan, di ba? Mas mababa yung immune system natin because of the cold. Tapos, hindi pa tayo take ng mga supplements natin. Then, again, prone na naman tayo sa infection. And also, smoking. Yung mga vices po natin. Those vices, lahat ng mga unhealthy po ng mga habits po natin could also lower our immune system kung saan magiging prone po tayo sa infection. Actually, Ms. Luisa, hindi lang yun, ha? Alam niyo po ba sa mga walang hindi nakalagay po dito sa ating pong slide? Yung puyat po, ay nako, talagang napakabilis po magpabagsak na ating immune system yung puyat. At lahat po ng pagkain, yung madalas kumain ng mga sweets, mga matatamis, nako, nagpapababa rin po na ating immune system. And especially po yung mga processed foods po natin, yung mga synthetic po mm -hmm. natin, so all of those. So sabi ko nga, no, unhealthy lifestyle, unhealthy diet, that could really compromise your immune system at pwede kayong ma-infect na ating pong common cold virus o na ating pong flu. So yun po yung mga risk factors that we need to consider. Right. So coach yung um vices that you mentioned, no, it doesn't mm -hmm. it's not just limited to um smoking. I'm assuming yes. other vices like alcohol are also a big factor to that, no? Alcohol and um do recreational drugs count as well? Uh coach? Yes. Yung ating alcohol, tsaka yung mga substance abuse na dapat din naman natin tinitake, yes, that could also cause uh, ma-compromise yung ating immune system. Kasi pagka umiinom ka ng alak, syempre madadamage yung liver natin. And liver has a big role pagdating sa ating immune system rin. Yung ating mga substance yes. abuse, di ba? So maapektuhan yung ating po mga organs sa katawan natin. So again, ang organs po natin, ang system po natin, they work together. So kapag yung isa is affected, then everything will be affected. So yun, bababa yung immune system mo and you'll be prone to different kind of infection. Okay, so what about yung uh, mga, okay, I know you, kasi I know you mentioned uh, weak immune system. So but how about people with comor uh, comorbidities? For example, uh, mga diabetes or yes, they have uh, uh, high blood. Are they more prone to uh, colds? Because it doesn't mean for sure na must we can ilang immune system. Um, it just means that you know they have a, an underlying illness. Well, actually, it's a good example. That's a good question. Na yung mga may comor uh, comorbidities natin. 
So the fact na meron silang mga problema, ibig sabihin, compromise na yung mga organs sila. Ibig sabihin, their oh, organs are not really functioning well at hindi siya makapag-perform na mabuti. So sabi ko nga, immune system is part of our body and immune system is just one of those systems sa katawan natin. So if yung ating digestive system is already compromised, so maapekto na rin ibang organs natin. And ito po yun ha, sa mga viewers po natin, alam niyo po ba yung mga may comorbidities po na mga tao alam niyo, prone po sila sa inflammation. May mga namamagang organ sa katawan mm. nila. At yung tao po may inflammation, ay bagsak ang kanilang immune system or mababa yung kanilang immune system. At mamaya, pag-uusapan natin, eh kung may comorbidities sa pala ako, anong gagawin ko para mawala yung infection ko mm -hmm. o mawala yung aking inflammation? Isa po ang pinakamaganda po dyan. Ang sagot po dyan ay antioxidants. Yes, I think that there was a study in uh, Canada released no, about, for example, how acai uh, berry extract has helped deal with the inflammation caused by COVID. Because yes. COVID um, and, and among other viruses, they have many complications um, that derive from, from that, no? especially mm -hmm. inflammation, which uh, some people like, for example, um, there are some people who they get COVID and then they get cured of COVID, but then they have all these other complications. So, yes, exactly. Um, yes, exactly. So, Coach, what about for a cold? Are there any complications for a cold? Because I know we're scared of COVID, we're scared of the flu, we're scared of the other viruses. How about a cold? Well, actually, the good thing about cold is hindi naman siya ganun kadelikado as compared dati sa okay. ating flu. Okay. Sa ating Ooh. flu, di ba? <laughs> hindi naman. You can just, you know, shake your shoulder, di ba? Pwede naman yan. No? Hindi naman yeah. siya ganun kadelikado. But of course, syempre, ayaw natin na nagtatagal yung ating mga ubo, yung ating sipon. Ayaw natin na accumulate mm -hmm. yung mga phlegm natin. Kasi syempre, maraming discomforts tayong mararamdaman. Sabi mo natin, hindi siya ganun kadelikado, mm -hmm. but then we'll be experiencing a lot of discomfort sa katawan natin. So pagka marami discomfort, of course, we cannot be comfortable. Hindi tayo magiging productive sa ginagawa natin. Pero wag kang matakot. Our body has the immune system na para lumaban po sa ating po mga viruses po na yan. Hindi naman ganun ka sobrang tapo yung mga viruses na yan. Eh. Kayang-kaya po natin yung maagapan sa pamamagitan ng ating lifestyle management, ng ating diet, ng ating supplementation, at saka ng iba po po natin mga modalities na pwede natin magawa kahit sa bahay natin. Pero syempre, nagkakaroon pa rin po yan ng mga complications. At ito, papakita natin sa ating slides. Ito po yung mga ilan sa mga complications kapag hindi po natin na-treat yung ating pong colds. So basically, mm -hmm. you experience acute sinusitis. Alam mo, ito yung Miss Luisa yung every morning na parang barado yung ilong mo na parang hindi ka makahinga. Yeah. Kasi nagkakaroon siya ng inflammation already do sa ating lining ng sinuses natin. So, isa pa lang yan. And also, meron din po tayong mararamdaman po na yung ating next slide is yung asthma. Diba? Pwede siya mag-trigger ng asthma. Hindi ibig sabihin na yung ating rhinovirus o common cold virus natin yung naging cause ng asthma. But then, because of that difficulty sa paghinga mo, dahil barado yung ilong mo, pwede siya mag-trigger ng asthma. So, mas lalo kang may hirapang huminga na. Okay? And the next is meron din po tayong tinatawag na Next slide natin. Okay. Yung mga sore throat din natin, kasama rin po yan. O kaya ating otitis media. So, ito po yung nagkakaroon po ng ear ringing sa tenga. Alam mo, Miss Luisa, minsan mm. kasi yung parang iba na pa nabibingi daw sila. But then, kapag chinect ng doctor, has sabihin, ah, nagkakaroon ka ng mga accumulation ng phlegm. Kaya yung parang yung passage mo dyan, o kaya yung ating pong uh, mga lymph nodes dito na mamaga because of the infection, at saka yung kakaroon nga tayo, accumulation ng phlegm, ay yun rin po yung nagkukos po na para may pressure po tayo sa tenga po natin. So, yun po yung mga further na pwede po maging complications ng ating pong colds kapag hindi natin binigyan ng pansin. And of course, sa mga bata naman, to, pwede rin sila magkaroon po ng mga streptococcal infections. So, once, once we say streptococcal infection, kasama na yung lalamunan po natin. Ito yung pharynx po natin. Yan, hanggang pababa. At pwede siya mag-lead on to pneumonia. Siyempre, kapag hindi ka gumagaling of the colds, ibig sabihin, mababa pa rin talaga yung immune system mo kasi hindi ka pa gumagaling. And there would be a possibility na ma-infect ka pa ng iba pang mga virus tulad ng influenza virus. So, ayun yun. Tapos, eventually, yun, pag hindi nga natin naalagaan yan, hindi natin naayos, pwede siya mauwi sa pneumonia. Mm. So, um, Coach, is there are there certain factors that can lead to one complication more so than the other? For example, um, kung may cold ako, no? um, is there something that, like, for example, does, diab does having diabetes and having a cold lead to um, 
acute sinusitis uh, more so than like strep infections or stuff like something like that. Are these uh, associated with any other causes? Well, actually, naman kasi pagdating nando sa may mga comorbidities natin or may mga existing problems na yung pagkakaroon ng colds, kwa na infected ng colds, siguro magiging problem nandi to is mas longer yung pag-stay ng common cold sa kanila. Again, because of difficulty mm-hmm. of their immune system to fight the infection. So say, for example, those people na may diabetes, so alam naman natin, too much sugar sila. So yung sugar na yun is pagkain ng mga viruses ng cancer cells yan. So definitely, mababa yung immune system nila. So pwede mag-stay ng longer yung ating pong uh, common cold, so yung virus sa katawan natin. And again, the problem is kapag nag-stay longer sa katawan natin yung uh, virus na yan, pwede siya mag-contribute pa sa magkakaroon ng accumulation ng phlegm. So may hirap pa yung baga mo eventually. Pag nahihirapan yung breathing mo, pwede may hirapan din yung puso mo. Uh, pwede siya maging triggering factor na baka pag nahihirapan na yung puso mo, eh pwede kang magkaroon ng stroke. O say, sab- sabihin natin na meron ka ng heart problem talaga, so baka magkaroon ng heart attack. So, hindi naman natin sinasabi directly, but that could be also a triggering factor kapag ka hindi natin na-prevent at hindi natin na-cure o na-gamot ka agad itong mga colds na to. And also, infection din kasi yan, di ba? So, dapat talaga tinitreat natin kagad. Kasi hindi normal sa atin for us individual na meron tayong mga ganong klaseng viruses sa katawan natin. Okay. Okay, Doc. Thank you for that. I think that was a good clarification. So, how about um, remedies? How do we how do we remedy this? So, I have all of this and I obviously don't want it to become worse and lead yes. to more complications. What can I do about it? All right. Well, the good thing about this, again, as I said our body is equipped with our white blood cells, the ating immune system. Mm-hmm. So we have the ating mga white blood cells to fight the infection. So kapag ka ikaw naman is, you know, maganda naman built mo, wala ka naman comorbidities, mabilis naman mawawala ito kapag nagkaroon ka ng colds. Probably in less than a week, pwede na mawala ito comorbidities, ay, yung ating uh, colds. Pero syempre, mas maganda if you would be doing something para mas i-get rid natin itong virus na ito. So ito yung mga remedies natin that you can do at home. So say, for example, You've been experiencing your ating uh, sinusitis. Nagkakaroon ka ng difficulties in yeah. breathing mo. Diba? Kasi nga, barado yung ilong, tapos pwede nag-trigger, nagkaroon ka ng asthma attack. So you can do your steam inhalation. So steam inhalation po natin, ginagawa dyan, meron kang uh, water, hot water, tapos yung usok po niyan, lalangapin po natin. So sa ilong, lalo na kapag may sinusitis po kayo, o kaya naman, kapag ka parang feeling mo parang may phlegm ka, pwede naman din sa lalamunan. And then you can always mix it with peppermint or yung ating ding eucalyptus. Yung mga menthol natin. Kasi Miss Luisa, nag-open yung ating air passages kapag meron tayong mga menthol na dinanagdag. But then, wag lang po yung synthetic yung gagamitin natin, ha? Yung meron pong methyl salicylate. Mm-hmm. So, dapat yung natural lang po. Yung ating pong peppermint, yung ating pong eucalyptus, o yung ating pong oregano, pwede yun. So, steam inhalation for about 15 minutes. Tapos, after po nun, mag-wash ka lang po ng tap water o yung galing na po sa gripo. That would be good. So, pwede po natin gawin yun. Second, sa ating pong remedy is yung ating pong natural decongestant at saka yung ating pong expectorant. So decongestant, yung sabi nga natin kanina, yung mga mint po natin. So yung ating peppermint, yung ating eucalyptus, pwede pong i-rub and then inhale. Yan, para ma-decongest yung ating sinuses. Para nagbabarabara, kaya para may mga sticky doon na mga nakadikit sa ating sinuses. And of course, yung ating expectorant, yung pampalabas ng plema po natin. Pampahinog ng plema at pampalabas. So we have oregano. Malaking tulog po yung oregano po natin. So, pwede yung dikdikin po yan, kunin yung juice, lagyan nyo po ng honey, tapos inumin po natin. So, it's good for adults. Pwede rin po yung sa mga bata. Pero, isa sa mga gusto ko idagdag dito, Ms. Luisa, no, sa ating expectorant din, at saka good um, pang-boost ng ating immune system is yung garlic. Alam niyo po ba yung garlic natin? Mm. It has antiviral property and it has antibacterial property. The fact na naipon yung plema mo po rito, dumami yung bacteria, dumami po yung virus po dyan. So, you can use your garlic. So, sa garlic, same thing kay oregano. Dikdikin nyo po si garlic, then you can add honey, you can also add um, calamansi, tapos inumin po natin. Pero syempre, dapat pakonsulta muna kasi experts pagdating sa natural medicine para maturo sa inyo yung proper dosage up to when kayo magtitake ng mga ganong klaseng ano natin, remedies natin. And then next is humidifier. Alam mo ba, Miss Luisa, yung ating humidifier? One reason kung bakit po yeah. tayo nagkakaroon po ng stiff yung mga para nagkakaroon tayo ng mga stuffy nose, yung para nagkakaroon ka ng baradong ilong, it's because of dry air. 
So, sa muna ko yung mga dry air. Sa air condition natin, magdamag tayo naka-aircon. Yeah. Okay, maghapo kayo naka-aircon. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng dryness po dyan. So, when you use your humidifier, nagiging humid. Tapos, hindi po siya nagkakos ng dryness po sa ating ilong, sa ating pong lalamunan, at sa ating pong baga. So, malaking tulong po ang humidifier. So, pag may humidifier po kayo, might as well, lagay yun na rin po ng mga peppermint or lavender para mas mabango, amoy spa, para masarap yung tulog ninyo at mas relax kayo. <laughs> di ba? And last, Miss Luisa, is yeah. we have here the supplements po natin. Now, when we talk about supplements, siguro number one ipapasok mo nito is the vitamin C. So you should look for a supplement na meron siyang vitamin C content because that is really very crucial, very vital kung dating po sa ating immune system. Second, sabi natin kanina, Miss Luisa, di ba, yung mga mga comorbidities, nagkakaroon sila ng inflammation yeah. sa katawan po nila, kaya bumabagsak yung kanilang immune system. So basically, what we did is antioxidants natin. So you have to look for um, food supplements na mataas po ang kanyang antioxidants. Kasi basically, Miss Luisa, nakukuha natin antioxidants natin sa mga fruits, sa mga vegetables, yung mga dark colored fruits and vegetables natin. Pero I'm sure, magkada bang kilo ngayon ng mga ano? mga prutas tsaka gulay, ang mahal, di ba? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly. Parang hindi lahat maka-afford. So, yun, para makuha natin yung kakulangan ng antioxidants, we need to look for um, supplements na mataas antioxidants. And one example na mga matataas yung mga oxidants natin ay yung mga berries natin. Yun, mataas yung kanilang mga antioxidants. Yes, yung mga dark-colored fruits and vegetables, no? They, um, they usually have really high antioxidants. Yes, mataas ang kanilang antioxidants. Yeah. Di ba yung mga sinasabi natin ng na mga dark color, yung mga grapes natin, yung mga berries natin, yeah. yung ating mga green leafy vegetables po natin, mataas yung mga antioxidants. Pero the problem with this kasi, Luisa, no, um, yung mga vegetables natin, yung mga dark colored natin, niluluto kasi natin, di ba? So the longer mm-hmm. na niluluto yeah. natin sila, especially ito mga viewers po natin, ha, yung mga pagluto po dun sa tubig, pinakuluan mo siya, sinabawan mo siya, nawawala po yung kanyang antioxidant level. O kung baga, bumabagsak yung kanyang antioxidant. So normally, nakakuha natin yan kapag ka fresh yung ating mga kinakain. Diba? So ang hirap natin ma-preserve yung antioxidants. Kaya akala mo, I'm eating vegetables all throughout my life, pero bakit magtsaka immune system ko? Kasi yung food preparation pala natin has a big factor para ma-preserve natin, makuha natin yung mga antioxidants. That's why, there's a big importance kung bakit meron tayo mga food supplements. Because we get yes. all those antioxidants, yung mga kulang sa kinakain natin dun sa mga food supplements po natin. Kaya sabi ko nga, Ms. Luisa, no, maghanap po tayo ng mga food supplements na meron o matayas yung kanilang antioxidants. And of course, sa so masasabi ko na rin, organic, yung mga berries si organic, napakataas po ng kanya po antioxidants. Yeah, and I have to agree with that though. Because sometimes, you know, um, wala kasang uh, wala yung uh, choice for for yes. healthy food prep sometimes you know we're busy and then we have no choice but to but to grab food or to um, just order whatever's there no so then you can't really you don't really have control over your uh, food prep and sometimes you know sometimes in the house maybe my mom's cooking or someone else is cooking or I don't have time um, in the house to make the healthiest food so having having supplements it's like a safety net na lang Yes, for yes. for my immune system. Actually kaya nga siya gusto ko din i-clarify no. Kaya kaya natin siya tinawag na food supplements kasi kinukuha natin yung mga vitamins, mga minerals doon sa kanila na hindi natin nakukuha sa mga pagkain natin. Kasi bakit sinusupply niya yung kulang from the food. Yes, that we yes. eat. Kaya siya naging food supplements. Yes. Now if you would ask us magagamot ba niya ito? No, hindi po niya magagamot 'yan. But the good thing is mape-prevent niya 'yan. O di ba? Saan ka mas exactly. pipili? Doon ka sa gagamutin, tapos gagasos ka ng malaki, o doon ka sa iinom ka lang, tapos mape-prevent na yung isang sakit na pwede magdulot ng napakaraming complications. Di ba? So, much better talaga na mag-prevent tayo. Yeah, well, as they say, um, coach, prevention is better than cure, no? And then, yes. kasi when you go for the cure, it's, so if you think about it, supplements are so much cheaper than treatments, than, than being hospitalized. Tama. So, um, Exactly. So, uh, Coach, what are the, some ways to prevent um, having a, a cold? All right. So, sa prevention po natin, syempre, kailangan natin ito ng ating pong, una, keep away from crowded places. So, sabi ko nga kanina, Miss Luisa, bakit sabi ko kayo na bakit ako hindi ako nagkakaroon ng colds? Kasi nga, probably it's because of your exposure. 
'di ba, doon sa maraming tao. Mm-hmm. So kung mas less exposure po tayo mga viewers po natin, syempre mas less yung chance na magkaroon po tayo ng infection ng ating common cold virus. So hangga't mare, no, kung hindi naman po importante na lalabas po kayo, might as well stay at home na lang po. Kasi you'll never know yeah. kung sino doon sa mga napuntahan po ninyo, kung sino po doon sa mga nakatabi po ninyo yung may common cold virus, tapos bigla siyang napasneeze, o kaya umubo, mm-hmm. kaya kinausap ka, di ba? Tapos kumalag na po doon sa hangin, tapos na-inhale po ninyo, then that's it. No? Pwede kayo ma-infect. Yes. And then, social second, distancing still. Yeah, social distancing, of course. Kailangan talaga natin social distancing. And then second is, kailangan po natin ng face mask. So it's not only about fighting COVID-19 virus, but it's also about fighting yung ating pong cold virus. Kasi alam mo naman, Ms. Luisa, yeah. uh, before pa nagkaroon ng pandemic ng COVID-19, there's already a lot of pandemics been going on. Ba, hindi lang natin pinapansin. We just took it for granted. Kaya lang, ito lang, medyo na-hype lang talaga si COVID-19 because it's something new at saka wala pa po tayong gamot ngayon. Pero before this, ang dami pa pong COVID, ang dami pa pong mga pandemic na hindi lang po natin napapansin. And one of those, syempre, ito yung mga common cold viruses na nakakuha lang sa paligid. So, again, you have to wear your mask kapag lalabas po kayo sa bahay or even kapag nasa bahay po kayo and then someone sa place po ninyo, sa bahay po is also infected or meron pong cold, dapat po mag-mask pa rin po kayo to prevent na ma-acquire po yung virus na yan. And also, yung ating pangatlo, as wash your hands. Kasi siyempre, kapag ka nagsasalita ka, <laughs> it's very simple. Kasi kapag ka nagsnis ka, tapos bigla ang kinamayan. Yeah. O, di ba? Tapos bigla ang ahawak yeah. sa mukha mo. So, ganun din po yun. So, better wash your hands. Pagkalabas po ninyo, pagpasok sa bahay, hugas po ka agad. Or kapag ka nasa mall po kayo, dapat lagi maghugas ng kamay. O to make it sure, bago po kayo gumalaw, galawin po yung inyong muka, dapat maghugas po kayo ng kamay. Now, let's say for example, you have no access sa paghugas ng kamay. Walang tubig, walang toilet, walang comfort room. So, pwede po kayo mag-disinfect sa inyo pong mga kamay. So, mag-alcohol po kayo. Which is, yun, lilipat po tayo sa next natin, disinfect your stuff. Pero ito, yung mga gamit po ito, ha? pero bago yung disinfect yung mga stuff na yan, siguro mas prioritize nyo disinfect your hands. Di ba? Para at least, mas safe po tayo. And then, of course, yung mga gamit-gamit din. Lalo-lalo na yung phone. Ano, Miss Louisa, this one? Alam mo, pwede siya talaga yeah. maging carrier ng everything eh. Yung mga viruses, di ba? Nag-phone ka, may kinausap ka, mm-hmm. tapos sabi ng friend mo, hey, can I borrow your phone? Oh, sure, sure. Tapos hinawakan niya rin. Tapos yung, wala na. Yes. I think they said, uh, Coach, na that the phone actually has as many germs as a toilet seat. Or I think they said even more. Yes. Tama. Marami. Kasi again, it's very much exposed at marami po ang gumagamit ng phone natin at nilalapag po natin siya kung saan-saan. ba diba? Pag pumunta ka exactly. sa mall, pag pumunta ka sa clinics, pag pumunta ka sa hospital, makikilapag ka. Kaya pag nasa taxi, may ilalapag mo siya. At saka alam mo yun, Ms. Louisa, oftentimes, hindi natin masyado na disinfect yung ating mga phones. Yung disinfect natin mm-hmm. yung mga uupuan natin, yung kakainan natin, yung ating lamesa, pero yung phone natin nakakalimutan natin. So might as well, mga viewers po natin, don't forget to please disinfect your phone because you're always holding it. At asya, ito, ito ha, malapit po sa ating mukha lagi yan, sa ilo at saka sa bibig po natin. So please yeah. always disinfect. So yun po yung mga prevention na pwede po natin gawin kapa, para po ma-prevent po natin magkaroon ng common codes. And meron pa tayong next? Yun. Avoid close contact with anyone who has cold. So sa mga meron pong uh, may mga cold, sa mga friends po ninyo, sasabihin nyo, physical distancing muna tayo. Okay, sa family, so siguro isolate po muna ninyo yan hanggang mawala na po yung kayang mga signs and symptoms. Diba? So para po ma-prevent po natin yung pagkalat. So avoid contact po muna and syempre yung mga gamit-gamit, always make sure na na-disinfect po lagi yan. Oh, meron pa. <laughs> yung last natin, take care of yourself. <laughs> Siyempre, doon po yung mag-uumpisa. Unahin mo yung sarili mo. Di ba? Kasi again, kapag yung sarili po natin, hindi po mataas yung ating immune system, so doon din po mag-uumpisa yung ating pong problema. Doon mag-uumpisa yung ating pong sakit. So take good care of yourself. So paano natin mapapangalaga natin yung sarili? Well, Miss Luisa, kailangan natin ng healthy lifestyle. Di ba? So yeah. pag sabi natin healthy lifestyle, matulog ka ng maaga. Hindi matulog ng umaga. Question kaya kay Miss Luisa. Umaga ka natutulog or umaga ka natutulog? 
uh, we sleep na, sleep as early as possible, right, Doc? Yes, tama. Dapat mas maaga. Hindi po umaga. Kasi pag sinabi mo, exactly. natutunog ako ng umaga. That's past 12, midnight. So, AM na kasi yun. Diba? So, dapat matulog yeah, ka said, na maaga. They said, they said early, pero early lang early morning. morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, talaga, babagsak pa rin po yung immune system natin yan. And also, we need to exercise. Kailangan natin exercise. No? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes exercise natin every day. From moderate to vigorous exercise po natin. And also, dapat healthy diet. No, nowadays, pag sinabi mm -hmm. natin na may maulan-ulan, so mas prone po tayo sa mga infection ng mga viruses, ng common cold viruses, make sure na you have to lessen your sweet intake. Yung mga mm -hmm. matatamis. So I, diba? I think this goes back to your um, risk factors, Doc, uh, kanina, where you were saying like, eating a lot of sweets and then having a lot of vices increases your risk of catching a common cold. Yes, tama ka dyan. No? Actually, hindi nga lang po yan ng ating viruses. Eh. Yung sweets po natin ay pagkain po yan ng cancer cells. So, hindi mo lang inalagaan, oh, no. hindi mo lang finid si virus, pati pa yung cancer cells mo. So, pwede ka, di ba sabi mo kanina, pwede ba mag-contribute ito sa ganyan? Pwede. Pwede magsabay yung dalawang problem po natin, mga viewers. So, yung sweets po natin. And alam mo ba, Miss Louisa, you know, one thing that could beat Viruses and cancer cells is the presence of high oxygen sa katawan natin. Dapat mataas yung mm -hmm. oxygen natin. And where do we get oxygen? Air and water. Air, yes. So air and water. So we need to do our breathing exercise every day. Breathing exercise po dapat hindi po doon sa exposed ka sa pollution, doon sa mga kalye. Diba? Hindi po doon. So, dapat breathing exercise doon sa medyo may garden mo, breathing exercise. And then, water. So, you need to take water every day. 8 to 12 glasses of water a day. Kasi ang tubig natin ay H2O. Mata sa oxygen content oh. yan. Mm -hmm. Ayun. Yes, exactly. Um, so, I think uh, the last one, no, was about uh, boosting immune our immune system. So, I think we talked, yes, I think we talked a lot about this uh coach on the importance of boosting our immune system, especially through uh, supplements. So I think we're coming to an end over here before we decide to wrap things up. We have uh, lots of lots of comments to check out. Um, so let's let's go through our Q&A. So if you would, please, coach. Yes, please. Um, paano po ang gagawin sa babies na madalas magkasipon. Now, babies po, siguro how old po yung babies po natin. Pero you know what? Yung mga babies na madalas po magkasipon, depende po kung breastfed po ba o hindi. So kung the mother is still mm -hmm. doing the breastfeeding, so first of all, you need to make sure that the mother is healthy. Kasi you know what? Yung mother po, nabibigay po ng immune system, nagpapatas ang immune system ng babies po nila through the colostrum na makita po dun sa mother's milk po niya. So make sure that the mother is healthy para makuha din po yun ng baby po yun. Pero if, say for example, hindi na po siya nagbe-breastfeed, tapos nagkakaroon po ng sipon, so make sure po natin, you can do your uh, humidifier, so medyo ilayo lang po ng konti, para ni-steam mo lang po yung baby. And then, pwede rin po natin gawin po rito, depende kasi sa edad eh. Kung pwede na bigyan ng mga vitamins, so pwede na po natin bigyan ng vitamins po yan. And then make sure po na dapat po, pinapainom niyo po lagi ng tubig yung babies. Kasi alam mo ba, Miss Luisa, yung iba na para puro lang gatas, gatas, and gatas, nagkukos po siya ng mucus forming or phlegm sa mga bata. So dapat after ng gatas, make oh. sure na you let them drink water. Okay. And then, um, that, but I guess this depends no, on the age of the, on yes. the child as well. Yes. Mm. So I think for, for, for that, if you want to be super sure, it's best to see your pediatrician. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay, the okay, next so question natin, from Joanne Nardo, can sinusitis co uh, cause nosebleed? Uh, depende, kasi if you have sinusitis, the common thing that we do is, ginagano natin, di ba, para we keep on doing this, tapos sinusundot natin, nililinis yeah. natin, so the problem would be, baka ma-infect o baka ma-irritate and may cause siya ng um, sugat. So, yun lang siguro mm -hmm. yung magiging possible na pwede mag siya mag-bleed. Pero yung sinasabi natin yung mga nosebleed talaga na hindi na magkakaroon ng sinusitis, that could be because of pumuputok yung mga maliliit po natin ugat sa loob. Pero basically, sinusitis, hindi naman po siya magbibleed kung hindi mo siya may irritate o masusugatan. Okay. okay. And then, uh, what about this one? From Elja's Kitchen, kailangan po ba uminom ng synthetic medicine 
for cold and flu medication? If yes, how long to take those medicines? So again, first thing is, our body, we, are, uh, we have been gifted by God ng ating pong immune system and the ability to heal itself. That's a good thing about our bodies. Kaya nating lumaban sa mga infection. That's why, binigyan tayo ng mga WBCs, mga white blood cells. They are the soldiers sa katawan natin. So they are the first line of defense po natin. So kapag tayo po, inalagaan natin yung katawan natin, say for example, for that day, nung nagkaroon ka ng ubo, sinipon ka, o parang medyo nilagnat ka, ginawa mo, you rehydrated yourself, tapos inilayo mo yung mga pagkain hindi healthy, and then you eat vegetables, you, eat, you drink yung mga sa labat natin, yung mga citrus fruits natin, tapos you sleep early, you know what, you'll be surprised. After three days, nawawala po yan. So, yun muna gawin natin. Let's just allow our body to heal itself. Tapos, yun lang, by doing discipline, ganun, pwede natin gawin yun. Actually, three days to five days, pwede mong gawin siya. Pero pag hindi pa rin nawala, then you have to consult your doctor. Kung anong ibibigyan ng antibiotic, if it's virus, ay, if it's bacteria, kung virus naman, may mga ibibigyan naman po sila magamot para po doon. Sabi ni Aldad. Okay. Oh, Aldad. Uh, so, yes. Ay, yeah, yeah, yes, go ahead, Miss Luisa. Oh, so uh, from Alnat here, we have Doc Harris, best remedy for allergic rhinitis. Um, yeah, no, Doc, Alnat, before we get into the question, could, could, you, could you please um, differentiate allergic rhinitis from, uh, from a cold and a flu and a sinusitis? Allergic rhinitis kasi natin is when we are exposed doon sa mga uh, triggering factors natin. So say, for example, kapag may strong scents, no, may naamoy ka ng mga matatapang, o kaya naman pagka merong dust, o kaya naman kapag kaya usok, o kaya naman yung mga balabalahibo. So pwede po siya kasi mag ng allergic rhinitis. So yun po yung ano natin. Pero the usual na pag mo sa umaga, tapos para ka nagkakaroon ng sipon, iba naman din po yan. Kasi para yung immune system mo, o baka naman yung aircon mo nga, again, I said, napaka dry kasi yung, yung atmosphere mo, environment mo, so pwede po maging factor po yun. Yes. So, sabi niya, ano ba yung best remedy for this? So, uh, you know what? Mape-prevent mo yung attack ng allergic rhinitis if you have a good immune system. So, yun. Right. You have to okay. take your vitamins. You have to take antioxidants. Tapos, if ever na onset yung attack mo, you have to get your peppermint or your eucalyptus. Tapos, i-rub mo siya, then inhale. Okay. okay you can Is that not... In- Oh, sorry. I, I I think we cut off. But is Alnat your your friend, um, coach? Yeah, si Alnat kasi nanonood din yan ng mga shows ko si Alnat. Tsaka nasa, sinare ko kasi sa Facebook ko yung ating show ngayon eh. So probably he's also watching talaga. Oh, thank you for, for watching. And then hopefully yo, sa, sa allergic rhinitis mo, you can you can try out the eucalyptus and um all of the other remedies that uh, coach over here has recommended. At saka, Miss Luisa, sana manalo ka ng kanilang organic. Kasi because of that organic, yes. it would prevent you. Kasi pag sinabi natin sinusitis, na mamaga kasi yung lining ng sinuses natin. And organic is really good in fighting and preventing inflammation. So sana manalo ka. Please join yung kanilang, uh, yung kanilang game para manalo ka ng organic. Yes. And I, uh, especially, you know, antioxidants and just natural and organic foods will help boost your body's natural immune function. Uh, yes. So you yourself can be the one to fight against your... Um, against the viruses instead of relying on um, medicines that you don't really need to and that are not prescribed by a doctor. No? Tama. Actually, kasi one example dyan, Ms. Luisa, no? para katulad sa UTI, urinary tract infection, mm-hmm. hindi mo naman kailangan kaagad mag-take ng mga antibiotics mo. Eh. Anong gagawin mo? Hydrate yourself. Uminom ka ng marami, tapos tanggalin mo yung mga maalat mo, tapos matulog ka ng maga, then take vitamin C, anti-inflammatory, o yung ating mga antioxidants. Then surprisingly, after five days, you'll be okay. So same thing sa ating pong, uh, ilong, sa ating pong mga colds. You just have to help your immune system to fight different um, infections, yung mga microorganisms natin. And how to help? Siyempre yung ating pong mga healthy lifestyle, yung healthy diet po natin, and also mga food supplements po natin, which has this high antioxidant level. Yes. And actually, interesting, you mentioned UTI kasi uh, last week, um, topic namin was UTI with uh, Dr. Joseph Lee. So Dr. Lee was also saying na as uh, some mild cases in the UTI, usually, you know, you will get over it. The patient will get over it with their own immune system. So yes. just like the cold, just like the flu, um, usually with a healthy immune system, you'll get over it naman when it's mild. So attack it early. 
um, boost your immune system at all times for when it happens, ready, <laughs> you're ready na, no? Exactly, exactly. Actually, the first thing yeah. here, gusto ko rin emphasize Ms. Luisa, is in the first place, you'll never get colds kahit na-exposed ka kung mata sa immune system mo. Diba? Okay, there's so, that too. <laughs> yes. Gusto natin yan. Siyempre, kaya lang kasi we are off guard na bagsak ang immune system natin then we are exposed dun sa maraming tao. Kasi even I myself, I'm, I'm exposed sa mga patients ko. Pag bumabiyahe din ako, pag pupunta ako sa malls, exposed ako dun. But then why I don't get that um, colds? Kasi every day I'm taking my vitamin C. Every day I'm taking my organic. Kasi binibigyan ako ni Miss Luis ng organic. <laughs> At saka na, dahil na nanalo tayo dito sa kanilang game. And also, syempre, kumakain tayo ng healthy. So, ibig sabihin, yes. you can prevent being infected o magkaroon ng, ng colds or even the flu kapag ka maganda ang immune system natin at kapag ka maganda yung katawan po natin. So, saan ka? Doon ka ba sa makakakuha ka ng common colds o doon ka sa maganda yung guard mo, maganda yung panlaban mo because nagtitake ka ng mga food supplements and you're doing healthy lifestyle na diet, di ba? So, again, sabi nga natin, these are things that you can really prevent. So, ba't mo nga yeah. kaya ma-infect ka kung pwede mo naman pala siya ma-prevent? So, let's go for prevention. Exactly. And I agree, uh, Coach. So, Coach, I just wanted to say uh, we're we're coming to the end of our episode right now. Time's almost up. So before we wrap it up, do you have any um, takeaways or, or last last tips you want to insert over here? All right. So some of viewers po natin, I just wanted to tell you na, you know, mapa common colds ba yan, mapa virus ba yan, mapa flu, or any kind of health problems po, again, everything is nasa kamay po natin. Kung baga sabi nga natin, no, your choice determines your destiny. So kapag uh, gusto mo maging healthy, of course, you have to act and do something that is healthy. Pero kapag nagpabaya po tayo, sabihin ko nga, Ms. Luisa, kahit gano'ng karaming organic ang inumin mo, pero you are pabaya pagdating sa pagkain, pagpabaya pagdating sa lifestyle mo, nako, mahihirapan si organic lumaban dyan, o mahihirapan si vitamin C lumaban dyan. So again, food supplements are here to help us, pero hindi para isalba tayo sa being irresponsible natin. So again, prevention is always better than cure, and of course, I would like to take the opportunity to thank everyone, pati sa si Organic natin, sa si Organic TV. Now, we have this platform, we have this gateway to educate people. Kasi David, sinabi ko nga last time na prevention is always better than cure and more education, less medication. Pero kapag ka less education, exactly. more medication. So thank you very much and stay healthy everyone and let's fight COVID. Hindi lang COVID, but then all ongoing pandemic po sa ating kung bansa. Thank you, Doc. And I have to agree with that. I think that's my new favorite slogan, no? More education, less medi- medication. So um, thank you, Doc. And I just wanted to say take care. And I hope to see you uh, soon in the upcoming week so we can talk more about young lifestyle-related diseases and other pandemic issues that we actually are not uh, acknowledging right now or overlooking due to the COVID pandemic. Thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Okay, uh, I hope that you know this ad- episode was uh, helpful for you guys, especially the common cold. Natin, I think we just tend to overlook uh, just the the complications that can happen from it. Because, for example, me, I didn't know that um, you know common cold can result in complications like strep throat or um, um, very severe like acute sinusitis which can, you know, if you're always rubbing your nose, can lead to nosebleeds. So I think it's very important for us to always just be aware of the illnesses and uh, lifestyle-related diseases. Lifestyle-related because um, immune system-related that can happen to us. Uh, and then just prevent always to be as healthy as we can. Um, and then always supplement where we can because my safety net uh the immune system if we have uh, supplements. So I just want to thank everyone uh, for also participating in our FAQ and our game. Oh, I'll announce the game winners actually later. So um, speaking of supplements, I invite you guys to actually uh, become one of our official direct sellers here at Olani PH here on Facebook. Now Olani is our official direct selling platform where you can share the health and spread the wealth by selling organic products um, 
with of course a uh, discount for yourself as well if you want to be the one to um, purchase for yourself so everyone can can enjoy supplements as well as a really healthy immune system now olani also has a few other brands that it uh, sells as well so i invite you to check them out here on facebook at olani ph again now uh, that brings us to the end of our episode where I get to announce the winners of the game. Now, I saw a lot of captions in the comments already. Now, let's just look at the most interesting captions or the most, uh, the winners, Natin. So the first one here is uh, Jairus Kiel. Um, a bad day with acai hot choco is better than a good day without it. Hashtag organic acai. And you know what? I agree. Sometimes a hot chocolate can make a bad day the best day. Uh, next, so we have here uh, Charlotte Jenny Solis Guevara, who says every morning is a blessing with acai choco mix, hashtag organic acai, hashtag immunostrong pH. And again, um, I think just a hot chocolate is probably one of the best ways to start the morning, you know, cozy, sweet, um, and then it's organic as well. So we have here Jun uh, Ranara, who says, take a moment to sit back, relax, and drink acai choco mix. Yeah, sometimes it's good to recenter yourself and just sit back and relax with uh, your favorite cup of hot chocolate. So do you have any more winners? Yes, okay. So we have here Ira Revilia, who says, starting the day right with a nutritious cup of organic acai choco mix. Every sip is delightfully good and will surely brighten up your mood. I love how everyone's just talking about how um, a good cup of hot uh, chocolate will brighten your mood because for sure it will brighten mine as well. And last but not least, we have, uh, I think this is Sia or Celia um, Panil Panilo, Panilio, who says, my morning routine with organic choco mix makes my day relaxing and healthy. You can never go wrong with organic. Best drink to start your day. And I agree with that. Um, a morning routine sets the pace for the rest of our day and sometimes you know the rest of our week and lives as well so always start your morning right with whatever makes you happy and healthy at the same time so congrats to all our winners summarizing them down all here we have Jairus Kiel, Charlotte Jenny Solis Guevara, Jun Ranara, we have Ira Revilla and Sila Panilio so congrats to all our winners you will be taking home um, our Vita bars as well as our cashew trail mix. Now I invite you to please let us know what you think of them. You put a lot of hard work into making beautiful, uh, beautifully delicious snacks for you guys. So thank you for participating in this week's game and as well as this week's episode for everyone. And I know this is June, for example, was commenting and tagging all of uh, their friends. So thank you for sharing this and I hope to see you again next Wellness Wednesday. Wednesdays with Organic. We care because you matter.